this this is all okay. We we ran through this. <laughs> so um, what's up, Wandersy? Uh, nothing much, man. What's up with you? I'm just vibing, you know. Every day is another you know another day, another, <laughs> another day, another vibe. Yeah. But uh, I got a really important question I've been meaning to ask you for a very long time. Ask me, ask away. What if you knew the day that you were gonna die? It's awfully bold of you to assume that I would ever die, honestly. But okay. Um, Gamer, <laughs> gamers don't die. Gamer, they respawn. Gamer, <laughs> game, they don't die. They, gamers do not die. But um, anyway, if I knew the day was the day I was going to die, I would sure hope I knew the month and year. Because if it's like 50 years away from now, I could at least you know have time, <laughs> have time to uh, prepare for my inevitable doom, and um, I would just, I would just want to like really work to. I, I would like to work to kind of have like be noticed as like in the future if we ever have a future due to climate change. Yeah. Uh, gotta ask the master. How 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 what what would you do if you knew you were going to die the <laughs> well, day you were going to die? My philosophy in life. Uh, are you familiar with the work of uh, Frederick Nietzsche? Never heard of him in my single life. Basically saying, you know, um, really just nothing after this. It's no purpose or anything. So I just kind of write it out, you know. I mean, I just kind of try and enjoy every day because it's the only life you got. But if I knew exactly when I was going to die, I'd make, like, a very organized list of things I want to do. So, like, say, meet Blink-182 uh, before this day or whatever. Um, yeah. Do, like, a whole MCU marathon in, like, the span of a week. Um, yeah. I, I, definitely, I definitely feel like I would have some, like, inspiration to make my own mixtape uh, of some sort, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, what, what, if, um, what if you were... To know possibly, like if it was in a week, what would you do in a week? Uh, I pull an Ozzy. Like look at what Ozzy did with his, <laughs> with his last ten years of life. I'd party as hard as I could if there was a week left. Like you know. Are you talking about Ozzy Osbourne? Yes, Ozzy Osbourne. He hasn't died. <laughs> yes, but he's look at him. Look at what he's done his whole life. Man is an absolute party goat. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Like Pearl Jam, just like just do so much stuff, you just forget what happened. <laughs> wow. Okay. Right? <laughs> um, if I were to know, I would honestly. Th- there's part of me that wants to just go in a burning place, you know, start fires. See, yeah. See, just so cause mayhem. Joker 2019. Yeah, I want to be Joker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or possibly, I would. I don't know. I would like. I would like to personally meet a lot of people. Like I would like to meet, you know, my favorite actors of all time. Like a. Uh, Tobey Maguire, Christian Bale, uh, Matt Damon, just uh, what, what other one? Uh, Tom Cruise. I would love to meet him. I would like to get into his mind of like what he goes through when he does like stunts, and I would like to you know possibly apply. Uh, Tom Cruise is the uh, he's a Scientology guy, right? He's a Scientology guy. Dude's a nut job. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, good actor, but he's he's definitely a nut job. Is anybody in Hollywood not in a job? That's the main question. I think I think Paul McCartney is probably the biggest weirdo out of, you know, anyone in the circle of fame. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, after all, you know, they hired a drummer that didn't have any talent, and um, more of a Ringo guy myself. But Ringo, all right. the worst drummer I could out drum Ringo, man. Ooba dee ooba da, life goes on. Ooba dee da, what did you say? <laughs> he has a song. Ooba dee ooba da, life goes on. Oh no no no, life goes on. I butchered that last part, but that's kind of how it goes. God, the Beatles were never good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, honestly, I would like to. If it was like you know a while in the future, I would like to you know try to direct some movies, possibly you know star in some movies. I would just, I would, I would like to live life t- to the fullest. Honestly, I would like to live, laugh, and love. Um, would you ever consider like you know settling down, getting married, stuff like that? If you knew when you were gonna kick the bucket. Um, I mean. You know, with my girlfriend now probably watching, um, I would st- I would stay with you forever, babe. Um, but anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway, I would um, I probably would, or if it was too short, I would be like, just leave me. <laughs> <laughs> just just pack up your stuff. 
and go. <laughs> Don't get emotionally attached. I'm gone. Sex <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out. <laughs> I wouldn't be mean to her. Um, but <laughs> serious though. Um, Seriously, what do you think? What do you think you uh, happens after we go? I think I would like to believe in the uh, reincarnation. Like you just get born into like a new body and stuff like that, and have to live over. Um, um, speaking of going, it is just about time to go to uh, conclude this. <laughs> 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 I'm Trevor Scott, <laughs> and, you're, and you're not. <laughs> I'm Trevor Scott, and you're not. <laughs>